Hey everyone, my name is Whitney and this is my YouTube channel, Whit Makes, where I share the clothes that I knit and sew, usually for myself, sometimes for others, and take you along on the journey of that. So today I have a sewing pattern review. We're gonna deep dive into this pattern. I'm gonna show you the versions that I made and I will have a blog post linked below. I'm gonna have it pulled up right here so that I can make sure I cover everything. Everything will be linked there. If there's something that you need, be sure to leave a comment if I don't mention it or if it, you can't find the link or whatever, and I'm happy to answer you in a comment. So let's get started, shall we? Um, we're gonna talk about the Somar Camisole from Paradise Patterns. This is a pretty new, I think it's been out a couple months maybe pattern. And if you follow any sewists on Instagram, You've seen this all over your feed. Everyone, like when the testing process, I saw it everywhere. And then now everyone's making them and making like 10 of them. And I made five of them. So I get it. <laughs> I understand why. And I'll explain my thoughts on that. But this is just a simple camisole. If you have been wondering, like, why is everyone obsessed with this? No, there's no hidden compartments. <laughs> there's no crazy design, you know, scheme. It is, it is truly a simple camisole. And it does have a built-in bralette, which we'll talk about in a second, but it, it, it's, it's just a great basic. So there you go. <laughs> it's exactly as it seems. I do want to say it is very similar to the Zoe Tank by True Bias. And I will be making one of those uh, very soon. And I plan on maybe, because I made a bunch of Zoe's last summer, so I'm not super fresh on maybe the instructions or the um, construction and all that kind of stuff. So I will definitely have this in mind to kind of compare to that. And I don't know that you need both patterns, especially now the Zoe has the different neckline add-ons, which I think it's free or it's very little that you can, and it has the scoop neck, the square neck, and maybe one more option that you can modify the pattern that you already, that you already own. So, you can absolutely make a scoop neck camisole out of the Zoe. It does not have a bralette in the Zoe tank, but this is a very easy hack. I believe Lisa from And So On is going to be sharing one soon. We actually were chatting about this on Instagram, and I think she mentioned it on her channel too. So look for that. And then I also wanted to say one more thing. Beth from 110 Creations is her tag on Instagram. And I have linked in my blog post to her blog post. She has a side, she just put up this week a side by side comparison of the Somar and the Zoe. So if you just want to buy one, you can kind of figure out which one works best for you. So that's my intro. <laughs> Let's get into this pattern. So I wanted to try this specific pattern because I loved the neckline. I loved the idea of a built-in bralette. And I am just in like this summer, I was like, I just want a bunch of knit tank tops, camisoles. I just want to wear them with shorts. I want to wear them with linen pants. I just want super simple. Um, and this really fit the bill. It's just it's a basic, yes, but it's like a perfect basic. <laughs> and so I was really excited to try it. I do want to say um, the bralette was really easy to, I've never, I don't think I've ever done a built-in bra like this, but it is a bralette. It is not like supporting from underneath. Now there are probably different hacks you could do to do like a built-in bra kind of a thing. And I used self fabric on all of my samples purely because I used all scrap fabric. They're all remnants, they're all scraps. Um, and some of them, I they're a bit see-through and that's just because like my white one, um, it's a thinner fabric, even with double layers, it's still um, a bit revealing. So I wear a bra with it. Uh, it mostly covers the straps. You can kind of see my bra. It doesn't bother me and I'm fine with that because it's just like a white tank top. I don't, it doesn't bother me. I would rather that than you see anything. But my ones that are darker colors, 
and then some that are a little bit thicker fabric, I definitely don't need to wear a bra with, but I do not need support. So if you need support, even though this has a wide size range, um, just something, and you probably know that if you are used to um, looking for ready to wear clothes and bras and things, and you know that a built-in bra usually doesn't doesn't work for your girls, um, this pattern's probably no different, but it is a nice feature. Um, but just just a heads up it's not it's not like holding them right okay so from the pattern website the samar camisole is a tight fitting top for knits with elastane it features a built-in shelf bra front scoop neck and a back straight neckline you can switch it around to have the straight neckline in front if you would like the neck and armbands are half inch wide and fully enclosed you can choose hip or cropped or cropped hem length. You can also just make the bralette portion of the pattern to make a bikini or a yoga top. This pattern is great toward advanced beginners. Um, the pattern description also states that by making this pattern, you will learn how to sew with knits, how to sew, how to sew double fold bands for a clean professional finish, and how to install a bralette. The sizing goes from a 28 inch full bust up to a 58 inch full bust. There is a sizing chart and it is on like when you go to buy the pattern, you can see the full size chart and they give, if I can blow this up a little bit, um, they, <clears throat> you will take upper bust and under bust and full bust, bust apex um, measurements to determine your size and they're also waist and hip are included. So uh, it's alphabetized, it's A to P. I made a size F. So my full bust, let me find it. Um, that is what works. That was my closest numbers on all of them. I did all my measurements and figured this out and that worked really well for me. Um, so it also made me remeasure everything and my measurements had changed. So I'm glad that I did. And I would suggest, you know, maybe don't have to measure for every pattern that you make, but remembering to do regular measurements uh, is always a good idea. So yeah, <laughs> this is a straightforward pattern design and all of my renditions look exactly like the samples because they're all exactly the same. I didn't do any hacks or anything to them. There are a lot of tester photos on the pattern site. She sells off Etsy. So on the Etsy website, as well as if you look at the hashtag on Instagram, you're going to see thousands of them. People have been making these nonstop. And that's really helpful to see lots of different fabrics, different sizes, different hacks people are doing. Um, it's pretty cool. I would say, like I said, the only downside is the bralette is not really offering a lot of support to women that need that. Um, it's more just another layer of fabric, but you could play with the hack a little bit um, and make it like a bra or also change. You could do... Um, I think if I did another white one, I would get some like power mesh or some power, or some lining, some flesh tone lining and something like that, I think might be a really good option um, for for those fabrics that are a little bit more see-through. Um, what else? I just say I've been wearing a bra, it's been mostly covered and I don't mind when my bra straps kind of show with these types of patterns. All right, let's get in. I'm actually going to pull up my pattern. Let's talk about the instructions, okay? So Paradise Patterns, I reviewed their Protea trousers a month ago, two months ago, and their patterns are really, really well done. And if you are a beginner and you're even like a beginner with knits or you haven't had a lot of success with knits, this would be a great pattern to try. They cover everything. There's a whole page on fabric recommendations, um, elastic recommendations, because the bralette has a little elastic in the band, a great thing on sizing, how to print your pattern, how to assemble it with the um, cutting layout, 
and fabric requirements and all of that. But then there's a whole section on pattern adjustments. Um, it teaches you how to blend between sizes, how to change the width of the elastic if you want it to be wider, um, which some might be better if with a larger bust. It also, there's tips for larger busts, different, um, it says to use power mesh in the bralette in addition to the self fabric and tells you how to do that. And then there's a whole section on how to knit with, I mean, how to knit, how to sew with knit fabric and the different zigzag stitches. What is a twin needle for? What's it not? All kinds of information um, before you even get to the instructions. So I think if you are new to sewing knits, if you're a new sewist, this, the instructions are fantastic. And somehow they manage to be very thorough in each of their steps. They have nice line drawings, very thorough, but it's not too wordy. Like you're not like reading 50 paragraphs to figure out what to do, but there's lots of information. Um, they're fantastic. They write really, really great patterns. So also there's concerned with the insides and the finishings as the outside. So you get a garment that looks beautiful inside and out and that will hold up which I think is more important. <laughs> so um, it's great. Love them. Love it. 10 out of 10 with the instructions. This top calls for knits with a high stretch percentage. I used all knits that were already in my stash. Some of them I pieced together a little bit, which I'll show you. Some were remnants. Some were just random leftovers that I had. So I don't have links to all the fabric. I'll tell you what each one is as I talk about it. And all that stuff. I didn't make any alterations to this. I did make the hip length on all of these. I think I might try, might try, I might try a bra type version. Uh, and I'll talk about that in my plans video next week. But I'm, I sewed a straight size F. Um, and they fit really well. Really, really happy with one. I did try to hack one and lengthen it into a dress. And I'll show that to you. Um, and why it didn't work. But I do think that would be a really easy hack. I also had considered putting one with biker shorts and making kind of a unitard thing. But I actually think the separates will be more wearable and that's a plan that I have in July. But if you, are, I've seen lots of unitards um, or body suits, whatever you want to call them, uh, both ready to wear and I've seen a few patterns released and I feel like you could hack this. And it's also just a really nice shape you can play around a lot with this pattern and hack it into all kinds of things. I also think it would work well um, like for a nightgown and a really soft knit. And actually I almost kept mine long as a nightgown because it was just a little more fitted than I wanted. And it was so soft and comfy that you could totally do that. So I think there's a lot of options here. I will be sewing this a lot more. This will be a go-to basic for me. I can see myself sewing some for my daughter. And yeah, it's just the perfect little summer camisole. And I really think it's worth the hype. So those are my impressions. Those are the details about the pattern. Let me show you all my versions. So the first one I made was out of this rib knit. And I have a contrasting um, neck and straps. And this was some fabric I bought when did I make these? Two years ago? Last year? I can't remember. But I, I was trying out a new leggings and bra, like sports bra pattern. And I can't remember the pattern designer. I haven't heard of them since. It was a terrible pattern. I had to rework the leggings. But I had some fabric left over and I was like, well, I'm going to make this little camisole. Now, it's very much like almost the color of my skin. So I feel like a little naked wearing this. Um, but this was my very first, I was just kind of doing a twall, just trying to use this fabric and see if the sizing was right. But actually I ended up, I I wasn't even going to switch the thread. Like I was like, I'll just, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to wear this really. And then I liked it so much that I did find some thread in my stash to like make sure that it matched. And it's actually really cute. So this will probably be like more of a lounging and I have the little leggings um, maybe like an at-home workout set. I mean, I wore it the other day with my shorts and my husband said it was really cute, but it's it's just not my favorite color um, of fabric and 
but it's fine. But the design itself was fantastic. I don't have a picture in this one because I forgot that I started with this, but this was my first one. The straps are a little bit long. Um, she does give a tip as you're making to measure your straps and I did not do that with this one. Also, I used ribbing and it just, was just super stretchy. So, um, but still totally wearable and comfy. Then my next one, I just wanted a white camisole. So here she is. I wore it all day yesterday too. So I wouldn't be surprised if there was something on it. This one, I do have to wear a bra with, as you can see, even with me holding it up, um, it's a pretty see-through fabric. I think this is a viscose jersey from Minerva that I picked up. I made a t I made a couple t-shirts with it a few years ago. Um, it's a really nice fabric. I, yeah, it's just a white tank top. I would like to make, yes, I just, I think right now there's a lot of workout sets that look like this that are ribbing with the, the ribbing is contrast color. I think a white with like a different color around it would be cute. Um, yeah, totally wearable. And I'll show you the insides. So you, um, yeah, you have this little bralette with the elastic and it's fully encased. It looks pretty nice. And I just use my regular machine. I don't have a serger. And all of my um, finishes look really nice. So there's my second Somar. My third one is this cotton jersey that I actually have a long sleeve classic tee from Love Notions in. I believe I got this from Blackbird. This was literally all that was left of this fabric and I had to piece together the back. And as you can see, I, um, no, I didn't. I always, one of these sides, the stripes are different. It's this one. I don't know how it got off, but those colors are kind of close enough that you can't tell, who cares? Um, and I had to do the back bralette in the white jersey. Like this was playing Tetris and figuring out how to get this, but I did and it's really cute. And um, yeah, I just love this little stripe with the pink and the kind of copper tone. So that is Somar number three. Somar number four is in my favorite mustard yellow. This is probably my nicest one. So this fabric, I don't remember what this, this might be a, it's a little bit thicker than the viscose jersey. I don't know what this was or where I got it, uh, but it's a really nice weight and it took the finishings really well. It's really cute. But my favorite color and like it says, you can wear it either way. Um, yeah, just a great layering piece. Love, love. And my last one, this is a bamboo uh, jersey, I think from Blackbird. And I made a t-shirt out of it a few years ago. It's this beautiful green color. It's so soft and drapey and lovely. And this one, I had a pretty good amount. Well, I'll show you. I have this left. <clears throat> However, I did not have a very wide amount. So I just lengthened the you know, instead of cutting at the hem, I was like, I'm gonna try and go out. Um, I just did not have a lot of room to make it really wide on my hips. Now, I did try it on as the dress, and like I said, it would be it would be a nice like house dress, um, nightgown kind of thing. I think I might actually see if I can get like a little pair of biker shorts, or even like booty shorts out of this, and have it be like a little pajama set. But anyway, I do love this one as well. It's just really drapey and that color is so pretty. So that is my fifth Somar camisole. All right, hopefully I've put in pictures and or video of me wearing them all. I just tried them on with my jean shorts to show you how I will most likely be wearing those for the rest of the summer. But yeah, this is a great pattern. Like I said, I think it's worth the hype in the finishing details and in the instructions, but I do think it is basic enough that if you have another tank pattern that you really like, you could definitely take what you like from the Samar and um, throw it into that one. But another win for Paradise Patterns. I 
think I really love this company. So that's it for me today. I will be back next week. I'm going to have my June makes and then my July plans all ready to go. I'm ready to sew some new things, but there might be some more Samars in my future. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you've made this pattern, you've been on the fence about it. If you have a go-to camisole pattern that um, I can pry from your cold, dead hands because it's your tried and true. Uh, <laughs> let me know. I want to hear about it. I will see you guys next week. Until then, happy sewing.